Okay, for part two in Lab Workshop 1A, we're going to work with some descriptive statistics. So we talked about Excel functions. Excel has a lot of functions that we can use to do descriptive statistics. So say we want the average of the scores, of the total scores for our apartments. We can just type equals average bracket and then show it the groups of numbers that we, the group of numbers that we want the average taken from and it tells us that the average is 200.8333 i can reduce the decimals down there to just over 200 we can also ask it what the maximum total score is it's easy when we only have six apartments, but if we have ratings on 200 apartments, we might want to know which, which is the highest rating apartment, uh, and it would be difficult to do that uh, ourselves. So I say equals max, show it the numbers, tells us the maximum of 270. I can say the minimum. equals min bracket our cells the minimum is 150 so there are a lot of different functions that we can use for statistical reasons for other uh, for other reasons if I actually go to the formulas tab here we can get a function library of all the different types of functions that are available but I want to uh, show you one of the add-in, Excel add-ins that we're going to be using in this class. So if I go to my data tab, in the lab you will find there's two add-ins, two analysis add-ins that uh, uh, have been uh, added into Excel. At home, if you haven't added them in already, you do that through the file menu, go to options, Go to add-ins, go on this page, go to the very bot bottom where it says manage Excel add-ins and say go, and then check off the analysis tool pack and solver add-in. We'll be using both of those in this course. And I say OK. Here I already have them, so I will close it. So I want to open up the data analysis tool pack. So these are a lot of different tools. We'll be looking at a lot of these tools. Uh, as we go through the course. At the moment, I'm interested in the descriptive statistics tool. So I say OK. And there's a common format to all of these tools. The first thing that the tool wants to know is where is your input? So where's the range of cells with, that you want me to analyze? So I show it the total scores. It is grouped by columns. If I'm highlighting a number of different columns and rows, I have to tell it how the grouping is done. So it's grouped by columns. I didn't include any labels in the first row, so I don't check the box. And then it wants to know where I want my output. By default, it will put it in a new worksheet down at the bottom. So I'll have a whole new worksheet. But in this case, I'm going to ask for an output range. Now this is a little glitch in Excel. When I click that button, it's, it selects my input range. And if I just start typing or clicking somewhere, it's going to change my input range. So when I click that button, I have to click in the box here. And then I can show it where I want the output to begin. So I'll just pick a cell where I'd like the output to begin. And then the third, the bottom section is always different options that I have. So in this case, with this square box, I want summary statistics. I don't want any of those other options. So I say OK, and I get my output. Now I want to adjust my column sizes so I can read everything here. If I select those two columns uh, and then go to the end of column J, and I get my cursor turns into this little bar with two arrows pointing outside, if I double click at that point, it will auto adjust the column widths to fit the data that's in each column. So that descriptive statistic tool 
has given us a whole lot of descriptive statistics. It's given us the mean, and the mean is 200.8333, and actually that's what the average function gives you. The average function will give you the mean. It will also give us a standard error. It gives us other measures that are often used in conjunction with the mean, so it gives us the median. It tells us there is no mode. Um, the standard deviation, it gives us the range, so what's the difference between the, uh, the highest and the lowest number. It calculates, the, it figures out the minimum, the maximum. It adds them all up and it counts them. So anytime that you want a lot of descriptive statistics uh, at once, you can use the descriptive statistics tool. So that's the end of part two for Lab Workshop 1A.